Okay, so this video sparked off by my wife saying I must be costing us a fortune with all the 3D printing I'm doing. So have you ever wondered how much it costs to print on here? Hmm, got a few marks in there, I didn't realize I had. Okay, so let's have a look. So I've got this little meter. Let's put it on and see what it costs us. So I'm gonna do a few things. So this is just a startup. Not that expensive at the moment. 9.3 watts. That's basically, well, nearly 12 watts then. That'll do anything to worry about. Okay, and that's it all booted up. So I thought I'll actually print a benchy. Right, so starting. Here we go, so we're up to like 68 watts at its peak there. So this is just on the warm up phase really. Heat. So heat bed heating, 102 watts. Ah, oh, there we go, we're, we're about a kilowatt now, almost. So a kilowatt an hour. I actually forget what the, the costs are now. Let's let it keep heating. Let's just say it's 25p a kilowatt. If it was doing that all the time, it'd be like 25p an hour. But actually, quite surprising how little. Well, I swear that thing gets noisier and noisier. Okay, so, uh, sorry, these tubes are probably in the way, but I'm sure we'll live with it. Still on the heat, heat and heat bed phase. It'll probably take as much prep time as it will to print the bloody thing. We'll do it like this, you can sort of see both. So, anywhere from like 33 watts, 38 watts, up to about 130, well, 150 there then. So, on the heat, heat bed, oh, something else happening. Here we go. The nozzle's actually going down in temperature. So about 200 degrees, all default settings, I'm using a texture plate, so I'm actually, well it's probably about what I was expecting you know, but I was probably expecting up around a kilowatt more. more consistently. It's only reached that once. Okay, so it's just doing the nozzle cleanup. Feel free to skip on this, I've got chapters in there. What do you reckon? Should I do these two printers as well? Do the same thing for the A1 Mini and the A1? I imagine it'd be pretty similar, although because it's got a heated chamber, maybe that will need a little bit more power because it'll just be losing the heat. Hmm.
quite consistent there, 140 to 180, 113 to 160. Just doing this normal leveling and stuff. And clean up. I'll stop there and I'll cut back when it's on the next part. Okay, the bed start printing. It's inspecting the first layer, so it's done the first bit. Between 60, well, 50, say, and 180, I've seen it go up to. Printing, doing its thing. Oh, 200. So, apart from that one time spike of a kilowatt, 200 watts seems to be like peak, and it's like for a split second. If I put an average on this, just you know, the top of my head, it's probably like a hundred watts average. So let's say a hundred watts an hour. That's pretty good going. So it's at uh, 25p a kilowatt, so you're probably talking like two and a half pence an hour to run it. I think I need to start printing more now I know that. Okay, interesting. The peaks are a little bit higher now, and it's more consistently above 100. Seems to be about probably averaging now about 150. Let's just pretend that it's always 150 and I think really that's high end really if we're doing an average that so we get 3.6 pence yeah something like that based on the 25 pence per kilowatt hour charge it's just right now 4 p an hour Happy days. So guys, next time someone complains saying it must cost you a fortune, now you know it doesn't. I'm not going to bother carrying on to the end of this print. It seems pointless because it's just going to show the same. And that 
four pence is really, really pushing it, isn't it? Anyway, hope someone finds this useful. Happy printing.